Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift, your home for all things that go bump in the night, and your fan stories told here. With this ever-growing acceptance of a higher intelligence, i.e. aliens, I ask you, why do you think they target who they target? Stories of alien abductions have gone on for years, but yet only certain people are getting picked up. And I personally believe they choose the people who nobody would believe. Today's story follows that subject, a lifetime of abductions, and is titled, Nobody Believed Me. Hope writes in, it started when I was about six or seven. My mother left me at a firehouse and I was put into the system, back and forth in different homes, never too long. But I was about six or seven when they first came to see me. I was asleep and I saw a bright light out my window. All I remember that visit was stars, planets. It seemed so fun. I was like a spaceman and it was amazing. I had so much fun. I woke up the next morning and told my new foster parents about this wonderful experience I had. And of course they didn't believe me. They were a, a very religious family and they didn't like me talking about things like that because that was evil. That was the devil. So I just stopped talking about it, but the encounters didn't stop happening. It would happen once or twice a month. I'd take my trip to the stars. I told my foster sister about the situation and I guess she must have told our parents because it wasn't long after that I was put back into the system. I didn't fit well with them. Now at about 11 years old it started happening even more. Almost every other night I went to sleep they would come to visit and they would tell me things. Now they would tell me how important I was, how I had a responsibility, a task. I started waking up with marks on my skin, burn marks, usually upon my stomach or my lower back. Of course, this attracted some attention. Everybody thought I was doing it to myself, but I told them it, it, wasn't, it wasn't me. So they asked if the foster family was hurting me. It wasn't them either, but how do I explain it? That I go into space every now and then, that I go out into the space and, and something's hurting me. Nobody would believe that, so I just stepped, just stayed quiet. My new foster parents started getting concerned about my health. I wasn't eating. I'd always have new burns and new bruises on me. They just didn't think that they could help, so they sent me back. For a couple years, I stayed in the system. I stayed quiet. I kept having the visits, but nobody believed me, and the more I talked about it, the less chances I had of a little bit of normal life. It happened all the time. The dreams were more vivid. The experiences were more vivid. They became more intrusive, invasive. They were putting things inside of me. I could feel it in my lungs. I could feel it in my stomach. They were doing things inside of my body about 16 years old and I started having very frequent intense experiences I'd wake up and I knew what they did to me I'd wake up with bleeding I knew that they had put something inside of me most ladies will understand what I'm talking about I felt pressure down there but at 16 years old I had never been with anybody I hadn't had my first boy girl experience but I became pregnant and foster family I was with they they kicked me out they assumed that their son and I were having some sort of relationship or that I was doing something wrong but I was pregnant and I had never had any relations I tried to explain to people what it was but who's gonna believe it I'm pregnant with a alien baby who's gonna believe that especially from a girl who has been in and out of the system her entire life a pregnancy was brutal, but fast. I did not stay pregnant for the regular nine months. Within six months, I had a baby, but my entire term was horrible. The baby was sucking the life out of me. I had, I could never eat enough. I could never drink enough. I was always trying to do everything I could to stay hydrated and to stay healthy, but I couldn't. The baby was sucking the life out of me. I don't know how it is supposed to work, but I put the baby up for adoption. I kind of was coached into it by these other people. These nurses came and told me it would be better for me. It would be better for the baby. 
But those nurses that came and talked to me that day, I, I'd never seen them at the hospital before. They, they didn't look like nurses. They didn't talk like nurses. They just showed up in my room and told me it would be, it would be the best. It'd be the smartest thing for me to just get rid of the baby. I didn't sign any paperwork. I didn't do anything. I had the baby and then the baby was gone. Back, the whole process was rushed. After I had the baby, they, they basically rushed me out the door. They told me that it was time for me to go and the baby was there and it was gone and now, it, now I had to leave too. I got really concerned. I, I started that way for a while. It stayed that way. I, I still was a 16 year old girl who just had a baby, but now I had adults, grown ups, telling me that I didn't have a baby, that none of this ever even happened. That was five years ago. I started getting some friends involved, trying to get some more information. I want to find my baby. I want to know what had happened, but I don't exist according to the hospital and neither did the baby. The dates and times that I put out don't match up with anything on their records. No delivery, no nothing. It's like it never happened. I still get visits. They're nowhere near as frequent, usually once or twice a month now, but now I see a child in my visits. I, I, I see the child and I play with the child and it looks like me, but not like me. I know this story sounds absolutely absurd, but I was a troubled youth, and I think that whatever targeted me knew that nobody would believe me, and that's why they did it. I know that story takes a very weird turn, but what do you think? Are they using us like guinea pigs? Are they coming down and going after those who nobody would believe because they know that nobody would believe them? If you have a abduction story, please tell me in the comments, and please send them in to Paranormal Night Shift. Thanks for listening.